All right, let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment if you'd like. Near Automata 1A.11111111 Episode 1 started off with. It's either about something very complicated or something so straight on, it's stupid. It starts off with the machines having a conversation with the boss. And they're saying, all right, nearly all humans have died and it's your job to protect this earth. All the humans that have survived live on the moon now and the aliens have taken over. So I wish you guys luck in this battle. All right, go. And also has some boring ass shit where they're trying to tell us about robots who conquered the world. And it looks pretty stupid because it's a bunch of them dead. And I get it, we're supposed to feel some sadness or something like that. It's just that this one robot's malfunctioning and it wakes up and it sees another human-like thing and says, Kill the dolls. So I'm assuming this is before the humans left to the moon and they're showing you how this many robots have killed humans. But I think there's one specific robot that's getting some emotions and he's thinking, Wait a minute, humans not bad, world for everyone, flowers good. So it starts picking up books and learning about humans and their history and stuff that they do. And to prove this, there's a bookmark that the robot sees on the ground and it knows that bookmarks are supposed to be put into books so you can find your spot again and you don't have to keep reading the whole book. And also how the robot's learning that humans aren't bad so now that he sees humans when he's on the battlefield, he's not going to kill them or attack them. Instead, he sees a human and he walks away, which surprises the humans, of course. And then the robots see him as a robot so they don't attack him. So one of the strange things happens. So the robot finds a fly on the ground and it picks it up and associates it with the bookmark that it found. I don't know if he knows that that's what it's thinking of but it comes back on a rainy day and sees that the plant's dead and it picks it up and it sits there for a second and thinks. Loading, 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 sad. And of course it starts crying but I'm not sure how it's crying because there's no water in a robot. But that doesn't stop him because he remembers he saw something in a book or a TV show where they put seeds in the ground and starts growing. So he tries that and, and every day he comes back to the seeds and keeps checking and checking. Raining, sun, snow, everything. And fortunately it starts growing but the small robots have been chased by a boar and they're trying to run away and they want his help but he still stares at the plants. After the boar stops chasing them they go back to the big robot and they look very mad. But the robots forgive it because they learn how to plant and now they're really happy so day after day they keep coming back and now they've become gardeners because it's a whole forest now. And that's the first 10 minutes of the episode and the other 10 minutes is getting to know the other androids out there and there's a girl named Lily who's really afraid of fighting because she has to sacrifice herself to fight for the earth. And she hates how the humans in the moon are really happy and they get to live their lives up there and they don't even give them a single gun to fight with. But let's be clear, they still have guns there. It's not like they fight with just their fists. Meanwhile, 2B and 9S are just resting, trying to reboot themselves. And once they reboot themselves, they go and talk to the main boss. And their new mission is to go and investigate for the people that fucked up. And of course they have no choice because the boss said it, so now they have to go and investigate. But it's not a big deal since they're really strong. But even the boss is worried because the place that they're going to go to is very dangerous. And it's not just dangerous, it's really stupid because robots that look really small and they're just yelling. They're going, eee! And they're trying to shoot them down, but they can't because they're getting really close to their cars. So now it's robot versus androids. And who's going to win the battle? The androids. And meanwhile... The human robot is just watering plants, minding its own business, when it turns around there's a bunch of smokes in the building and all his robot friends are destroyed. So one day, the happy robot and a bunch of other robots are fighting the humans and the humans just bomb them they all start falling. But for some reason they're bleeding too, so I'm thinking maybe they are human. And unfortunately, the happy robot just falls all the way to the ground, might be dead. So after this big battle, 2B and 9S finally get there and they help them defeat the last of the robots, even the one that they didn't see coming. But that makes Lily really suspicious and she's thinking, why did they send two of the strongest people to come and help us? Does that mean that this world's ending? And that's pretty fucking crazy. But the even crazier part is that there's robots down there that are reading books. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we'll see. The question of the day is, did you feel bad for the robot that was reading the book? Or were you just saying, ah, that's a stupid robot? Alright, that's the end of the video. Peace.